Good morning, modern steaders. We ended up getting an inch of rain yesterday and then another like tenth of an inch of rain so far this morning. It's making for a pretty muddy mess. Yep. People have been asking, where's Andy? There he is. Andy, you look a little wet there, mister. Well, I guess all that rain's good for something. These three chicks are doing awesome. They're almost completely feathered out. How you doing? Looks like you need some more feed. The turkeys have been locked up in this pen for a few days now. I bet you they're gonna enjoy getting out. You're free. You're getting pretty big. Oh, I go inside to eat some breakfast. I come out and it's raining again, guys. Oh, it wasn't supposed to rain at all today. This morning when I woke up, it was raining. Checked the weather. Said it was supposed to stop raining at 5.30. And now it's raining again. Oh, it's not cool. Not cool. This has turned into a big old mud hole over here. I'm gonna have to let it dry up for a few days before we can get to working in this area again. But I wanted to show you. Uh, look at that. I did really good at burning everything up yesterday. I came out and stirred it up a few more times. And that's all that's left. That's pretty good. With an inch of rain on top of that. I'm impressed. What are you doing, Mr. Figaro? You having fun playing in the rain? Huh? No? I don't blame you. I wouldn't want to be out here either if I didn't have to be. You girls aren't going to be happy. You don't like the rain. What? You're in there making noise for no reason? Huh? I'm moving a little bit slower today. I put my back out yesterday morning of all times. Before we even started doing anything. I stood up from milking, turned around, looked the other way, and I went, oh man, my back just went out. It's been a good three to six months since my back's been out. So I'm trying to get in to the chiropractor today. Fingers crossed. I want to cook up two chickens today. Maybe they'll both fit in the same crock pot. Oh, no. Must be two crock pots. But that way, I can get a big batch of broth going. Bone broth, chicken stock, whatever you want to call it. And then we can have a good amount of chicken left over make another soup or a stew with it. It's that time of the year, guys. And I love chicken noodle 
noodle soup or chicken and rice soup. My favorite. I was just getting ready to go outside and move New York City. We need to do that today. And that chiropractor just called me back and said, hey, how fast can you be here? I had a cancellation. I said, I'm getting in my truck now. I'll be there in about 15 minutes. <laughs> so, I'm excited. Then we got another little thing we need to do while we're out to town. The foliage is starting to come in nice, guys. Hopefully this weekend it'll be beautiful and we can go for a nice drive. Alright guys, we're going in. I'm gonna feel like a new man when I get back out. Alright guys, get down with the chiropractor. I feel a lot better. But he told me I need to take it easy today. I'm not good at that. So I got some stuff to make some fire cider. But we still need to move New York City when we get back. It's supposed to rain again tomorrow. I'd rather do it not in the rain. If we keep getting all this rain, it's not going to make for a very good foliage season. It's going to take all the leaves off before we get to see them all. Patiently for me to move on. I'm coming, Moose. I'm coming. All right, I got it done. Now I just gotta go around and straighten it out. I think the chicken should like this area. The grass is pretty thick. There's a few apples over there by the apple trees. Moose, the grass is almost taller than you in some spots. They found a couple of rainwater puddles out here. 
They're loving it. There's another good size one right here. All right, so, so for our fire cider, I picked up a little, I don't know, I think it's like an eighth of a pound of turmeric. The turmeric's very expensive where we are. I just got a little bit. We got just over a pound of horseradish. All this stuff said and done was about 40 bucks. One of the bigger expenses was the apple cider vinegar. But if you think about it, this right here is 20 bucks in the store for eight fluid ounces, and we're gonna be making two quarts. So what's that? That's quite a bit. Huge save. It's a huge savings. Then I got ginger. A pound, right around a pound of ginger. I got four cloves of garlic, which I think I'm only gonna use three, and I'm gonna save one for cooking with. I got five cinnamon sticks, three heads, three heads, three onions, white onions, and then I got four jalapeno peppers. I'm also gonna be putting in a little bit of cayenne pepper, rosemary, and some thyme. I'm gonna start with the garlic. Next year we'll be able to do this with our own garlic. We also want to try making black garlic with our own garlic. I heard that's supposed to be really good for you and very tasty. All right, now that I got my garlic all de-skinned, we'll call it, we'll set that aside. I want to peel my horseradish. Gonna chop them up and put them in my food processor. I'm gonna put it all into a gallon glass jar. I'm gonna wear gloves for this next part. I'm using jalapeno peppers. They say the hotter peppers, the better. We're not into spicy food, so jalapenos is good enough for us. So I heard on ginger root, you use a spoon to peel it. It peels it a lot easier and you only take off the skin, where if you use a peeler, you're gonna get more of the ginger itself. garlic in my turmeric in my food processor. All the colors of the turmeric with the garlic looks so pretty. All right, the last big major ingredient I have is the white onions. And everything I read said white onions. So I wouldn't substitute them with any other kind of onion. I don't know if I could put this in the food processor. Probably could. You don't have to food process all the food. You can either dice it up with your knife or use a grater. We have a food processor, so it makes it easier.
It's either gonna make the house smell good or bad. Gina's either gonna come home and go, oh, the house smells delicious, or she's gonna come home and go, what the heck have you been up to today? Now, I'm not following one specific recipe. I found a bunch of recipes and they are all somewhat different. Some of them called for lemons, some of them called for oranges, some of them called for turmeric, some of them didn't call for turmeric, some of them called for cinnamon, some of them didn't, some of them called for black pepper, cayenne pepper, rosemary, thyme, and all sorts of things. So the recipe I'm using is just what I thought sounded good to me. You can use jalapeno peppers, habanero peppers, ghost peppers. If you like really hot food, you can make it spicier, and supposedly the hotter it is, the better it's gonna be for you. Afterwards, you let it brew for four to six weeks or longer, and then you can mix honey in with it if you'd like. You don't think I gotta get that last onion in. gonna do just for us because we're not big into heat I'm gonna do one table no one teaspoon of cayenne pepper you can do a lot more if you wanted to gonna do one to two tablespoons of rosemary Two tablespoons of thyme. Let me put in one quart of vinegar and see where we're at. You can hear it. I'll have room for this other onion in here. So I made you something to drink when it's ready. What's, what's in it? Do you want to know? Yes. So the first thing is horseradish. Ew. And we got jalapeno peppers. Ew. Garlic. Ew. Ginger. Ew. Turmeric. Ew. Onions. Okay. Cinnamon. Yum. Rosemary. Okay. And thyme. So in about four to weeks. six weeks, yes, you weeks. can. It's weeks. You get to drink it. No. Yeah. No. You're gonna be drinking it every morning. I'm not drinking that by myself. We're all gonna drink it. We're all gonna do shots together, and we'll stay healthy. Can we do it at night? You wanna do it at night? Yeah. You might wanna do it in the morning. It might wake us up. Okay. Okay. I told myself when I went in to get the ingredients to make the fire cider. I was gonna get some stuff to make a salad tonight. Yeah, and guess what I forgot? I guess we'll have to have some broccoli. All right, now I got my two chicken carcasses in my Instant Pot and put four carrots in. The more you put in, the better flavor your broth's gonna have. And then we're gonna do probably at least half of this bunch of celery. Apple cider vinegar, some 
cloves of garlic. Since we're doing it in the instant pot and we're not, we're going to be straining it, we can just put the, the cloves right in. Let's do four cloves. Now we'll do five. Same thing with the onions. I'm just going to cut them up. I'm going to do about one tablespoon of salt. You don't want to salt it now, or you don't want to worry, you're worried about over salting it. Do a little bit less than what you think, and then add more after. 